I have patients who come in and say, um, I have this product, will you inject it for me? You know, you could charge me some money. And I, and I advise everybody not to do that. I do think it's a really important topic. And that because you can, any place that there's money, then people will find a way to exploit it. So you can put anything in a box that looks similar to the box of fillers or neurotoxin, and you don't know what it is. So I, I think that, uh, you have to be very, very careful to, to, to avoid that, that trap. It's just sort of amazing the kind of stuff that comes across your desk. I, I used to forward some of this stuff on and I used to save some of this stuff. In fact, I was involved uh, in the FDA's prosecution of the person behind the Tritox scandal because I had certain brochures that I'd kept for years and I knew exactly what was going on there. Um, the other thing that would be, it would amaze you if you saw the list of 180 names of doctors who were buying Tritox. Wow. There are names on that list that all of us would know. Um, I, I just don't get it for a few dollars here or there. If you like the look of uh, Madoff in handcuffs sitting in jail, uh, then buy those toxins or those fillers because that's what will happen to you. It is simply illegal. There's no defense whatsoever. Uh, we should only be using FDA product, preferably FDA product, uh, talking about the states here, uh, that is specifically uh, approved for a cosmetic indication. It's one thing as a physician to take a product that is approved for an aesthetic indication and use it off-label. We all know that when we use a neurotoxin, a neuromodulator, anywhere other than the glabella, if we use it in the crow's feet, if we use it in the platysmal band, the DAO, all the places that we choose to use it for aesthetic purposes, we're using that product off-label. But it is approved for an aesthetic indication. Now, when someone brings a hyaluronic acid into your office that has no aesthetic indication and you choose to use it off-label, you're kind of on shaky ground, I think. And in that case, you don't have a lot of data to back you up saying that it is safe to inject in the dermis, in the deeper planes, in the face for aesthetic purposes. So I feel like those companies are putting the onus on us as physicians and putting our patients' safety at risk, which is really not appropriate this day and age. Promoting products off-label is against the law in the United States. Susan says something very important that comes out of the 1997 FDA Modernization Act, that uh, Modernization Act, that promoting uh, anything that we do off-label is against the law. That's true, it's, it's against the law. So if you take it one step further, uh, uh, formally, is it, uh, is it against the law to uh, promote uh, botulinum toxin in crow's feet uh, or a specific type of filler that doesn't have FDA approval for the lips uh, um, uh, on your website or something like that? I think the answer is yes, and a lot of SEO companies don't realize that. Now, of course, uh, digital media is just way too large for the FDA to run out and be uh, uh, you know, monitoring what everyone does. But I think that as we go about promoting our practices, uh, that we're aware of what, uh, uh, what the law says.